And so we come to the great day itself. It is my privilege and honor to begin this ceremony by welcoming you to celebrate with me the achievements of the graduates and diplomats who have successfully completed their studies this summer. The Polytechnic is now a higher education corporation, a company in its own right with charitable status. It became so on the 1st of April this year. In the ceremonies of 1988 and in looking forward to the event, I paid tribute to the local authorities of the County of Leicestershire and the City of Leicester for their contribution in supporting the Polytechnic in its first phase of growth from 1969 to, to, to last year and for their stewardship of its administration systems through that period. Today I thank my fellow members of the Polytechnic's new Board of Governors for the enthusiasm they have brought to bear in assuming their responsibilities for the next phase of our development. I also associate these thanks to the staff of the Polytechnic. It has been a year of great change for them, but they have not deviated from their primary task of delivering to students a high quality of education associated with human support that characterizes the special relationship between tutor and student. Because there has been no deviation from that task, the results are again results in which we can take great pride but Leicester Polytechnic will be a success story for the 1990s, and I invite all our former students to be part of that story. I thank you for your attention and wish you well. I congratulate you and rejoice with you in your present success. Parents, I do not doubt that it gives you also great pleasure to see your sons and daughters here at this public act of recognition of their achievement. All the heartache, all the caring, all the sacrifice, all the hope is resolved today in your pride. Parents, be proud. Enjoy your pride. Parents, these are your children. Congratulations. But let us not forget the success of our students. Leicester students, ladies and gentlemen, your children also play in sports teams and get into the finals of British Sports Association competitions. They win competitions such as the Sunday Times Student Drama Festival. They obtain prizes from professional bodies too numerous to mention, and they obtain major sponsorship from governmental departments for inventions that are exploited in new companies. Yes, one of the class of 89 who will receive his doctorate in the ceremonies of this week provided the major justification for a DTI award of nearly £40,000 to exploit the robotic handling of flexible materials. So that's what we're about, ladies and gentlemen. It gives you an idea, I think, of the quality of the institution of this polytechnic. It's a quality that's beginning to be increasingly recognized in society. For the first time, a debate was initiated in the past three months in the upper house when the Lords considered and confirmed the view that polytechnics and their achievements should be more publicly acknowledged and supported. I put it to you, ladies and gentlemen, that is the case. And I invite you also to speak for the Polytechnics, and of course, for Leicester Polytechnic in particular. They must not be undervalued, because they are a magnificent social resource, and they serve you well. Awards of the Council for National Academic Awards. The degree of Bachelor of Laws from the Department of Law. Karen Avenel. Simon Charles Bajant. Rachel Jane Bambridge. 
Samantha Barnes.